Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, and I am thrilled because Eric McGill is here and he brought Bubo with him. And uh, check this out. How about that? Wow. Eric uh, with Earth Wings, tell me who, uh, or, or, or I should say, what, what kind of owl is Bubo? Bubo is a, an Eurasian eagle owl, which an is the owl. cousin, old world cousin of the, our great horned owl. You can see he's got the same little horns like oh, yeah. our great horned owl here in North America would have. How about that? But uh, Europe and Asia in the wild. He's looking for mice. He's like, there's got to be a mouse in here. And there has been in the past. I'm just saying, maybe there's one running around here. We could get a little meal. Uh, well, there has, on, t on the evening show, we've, I think I've even fed Bubo uh, real mice, although they're dead mice. So maybe, right that's, maybe this has gotten him his feeding uh, frenzy. Yeah, huh? Yeah. What a beautiful owl. So. They, they, okay, let, since he's turning his head, let's talk about that. How far can they really turn their head? Yeah, they go all the way around? People say all the time, oh, they can turn their head all the way around but that's in a, a full uh, circle. What, a little more than, he, more than 180 degrees, Yeah, clearly. about 270 70? degrees, yeah. That's so amazing. about three quarters of the way around. That is uh, impressive, and that, I suppose it definitely helps with hunting. Definitely helps with hunting, and eyes, or uh, owls, as you'll notice, have forward-facing eyes just like us, the flat skull. But they have uh, the ability, uh, the periphery for them is huge, right? Their peripheral vision, a well, big part of what they do? not as good as other birds that have the pointed skull, so they're already okay. looking side to side. Oh, sure. They, they don't have the need to crank their head as much as an owl. Which uh, is why they can turn their head so far. Yeah, or at least why you catch them doing it. All birds actually have extra vertebrae. And, and you might once in a while see a flamingo at the zoo or a duck at the park crank its neck real far and, yeah. and it's that extra vertebrae that helps them. I mean, look at that, he's that like looking directly behind him. He likes the art, your new, every time we come <laughs> in we love your interior design. That's here. awesome. <laughs> Talk to me about Earth Wings a little bit and what, uh, you, know, what you guys do. Yeah, uh, based down in Salt Lake, right now I travel the state with these beautiful birds and we do educational demonstrations at schools and a lot of summer camps and, and uh, events, uh, festivals and things this time of year. Um, mm -hmm. But my goal, our goal here in Utah is we're working on acquiring the land through our nonprofit to open a nature park in a public facility. That's great. Um, so. The the education about these birds is so important because people sort of take them for granted and their habitat for granted. Absolutely, yeah. And what a lot of people don't realize, especially up here in Park City, but even down in Salt Lake, like where we live, is uh, so much of this wildlife lives right here amongst us. Yeah. So it's it's that, certainly protecting wilderness and, and and open space habitat is crucial to to their survival. But but we share a lot of this environment with. Uh, with these birds right now. Look at him, oh my gosh, he's <laughs> awesome. He's performing for us. He just great. had his birthday and got the Justin Bieber dance DVD. So yeah. he's been kind of practicing <laughs> that and getting that. Christine does he make much noise? Do you too. hear from him every now and then? <laughs> he, he does vocalize, he hoots. Uh, um, mostly when he's with his girlfriend, Pumpkin, our female eagle owl, yeah. they, they are constantly hooting back and forth to each other. He's saying, oh, uh, Pumpkin. Once he leaves home, he's, uh, he gets kind of a little bit more quiet, so right. uh, it's just kind of unpredictable when he vocalizes. Do they mate for life, or are they, are they that kind of In bird? the wild, they, they will, but it's, I tell people, it's not the Walt Disney version. It's yeah. uh, animals, their the survival instincts are strong, so if something goes wrong, if one of the pair uh, dies, uh, they if they're unsuccessful, they'll, they'll move on, and they'll, they'll remate and, and continue wow. to... <laughs> reproduce and survive. He's very interested in something here for sure. <laughs> we, you know, we talk about, you, you mentioned uh, the fact that, you know, we are in their territory, so to speak, already in every, in every way, imaginable way, right? Uh, and I guess that, that I, one of the things I heard that was kind of interesting was that, you know, when it comes to attracting birds to your yard, for instance, you can attract almost anything that's in the local area just by putting out what they eat because, uh, as I understand it from this, uh, this uh, uh, article, uh, that a bird will see every square foot of territory uh, in your, your, well, your, your world uh, every week. Hmm. Every week, every square Move foot of territory that. has been seen by a bird. Yeah. That's kind of hard to think about. Yeah. Every foot. <laughs> 
Yeah. We don't think we see that many birds around, but there are that many birds, They're and they are that active. They're looking around, yeah. Yeah, and putting out uh, plants and, and bird feeders is so important, but I tell people the number one thing to, that they can do to help them is don't use pesticides. Right. So many owls especially will die from secondary poisoning. Yeah, they pick up a, uh, a mouse that's been infected, especially a dead mouse, yep. and that's it. That's that very, can take care of the common. bird too. Yeah. Wow. If somebody wants to have earth wings uh, come to their school or to another program, how do they get in touch with you? Yes, uh, you can, f our website, earthwings.org, um, earth like a planet, wings like a bird, dot org, and then our Facebook is uh, just earth wings, one word on Facebook, and you can see a lot of f photos and videos of Bubo flying, spreading his big, beautiful wings. Wow, look at you. And uh, he's awesome. molting right now, too, so he's losing a, a lot feather of his old feathers. And I've That's got awesome. dozens of these each day. To well, Bubo is going to hang out with us just for another minute, and when we come back to the Mountain Morning Show as we jump into the second hour of our program, so you'll want to stay tuned for that for sure. We'll be back with more right after these messages right here on Park City Television. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. As you can see, we've got an active morning going here on the 3rd of July as we jump into the second hour. Eric McGill joins us with uh, Earth Wings and uh, Bubo, uh, who is uh, arguably one of the coolest owls I've ever had on this program. <laughs> we've certainly had a lot of them, but I don't think we've ever had one that's this sweet. Uh, just a tremendously nice owl. Wow. Wh it's what kind of owl guy. is this again? The eagle owl. The Eurasian eagle, owl. eagle owl. Eurasian eagle owl. Uh, again, you said this is akin to our uh, some of our owls. W which one specifically? The would be most great closely horned? related to the great horned owl. Yeah, which okay. is the more common owl you would see up here in Park City and right. here in Utah. Kind of like the barns. They like the fields. Mm -hmm. That makes uh, this kind of a territory ideal for them. Yep. Mountains wow. and, and open areas. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, typically nocturnal, right? Typically nocturnal, or uh, at least capable of being nocturnal. Those big right. eyes help them see in low light conditions. And owls have extremely good hearing. Uh, I like to tell kids especially, but adults too, that maybe that's what makes owls so wise. You know, we, we all say owls are wise, the wise old owl, is they're extremely good listeners. They have very good hearing. Um, they're paying attention to their world. And they can hunt just by focusing their, their hearing. However, really? my owls, and I've got two, two of these eagle owls and a barn owl for our bird shows that we do, uh, because I've raised them from babies, feeding them during the day, working with them during the day, they're all on a diurnal schedule. Okay. And owls in the wild can kind of adjust uh, yeah. depending on conditions. <laughs> Definitely looking around here. There's all kinds of things to look at for sure. I don't know, do you see something exciting? <laughs> looks, uh, it looks like maybe there's something up there to go after. Yeah, I think just all, <laughs> all the little nooks and crannies and crevices up there look at uh, those wings. to an owl that's inviting like a, a little home. They love to Wow. Uh, yeah, he's like, that's a good place to go perch, go right? Sit up in there and, could, and, make and it home. even with that wingspan, could it get up in some of these little um, places? He might have a little bit difficulty in this yeah. small of an area, but uh, talk to me about uh, what is amazing right there is the amount of wind uh, and force uh, those wings produce. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah. When he opens his wings, I just kind of roll my glove, and to balance, he puts them out. And I'll I won't talk this time, but when he when he flaps wow. like that, you can hear a little bit of the wind, but yeah. um, for a bird his size, extremely silent, and they have the soft feathers is what gives them that, that silent flight. And you can see now. That's important when you're going after somebody. So now, is this a little bit of exercise there, so a little winded, is that what that is? He's, gosh, he did this last time we were on uh, a TV show, and he did it right before he, he went and kind of lunged and attacked the, the host. Oh, so well, I'm there kind of, I'm kind <laughs> of worried. News. I'm kind of worried right now. We <laughs> might need to go to a commercial break. Just be ready. Just in case. No, you're, you're exactly wrong. right, Joe. He's just like a dog. He can't sweat like, panting. like us. And so he'll pant to cool. When I have him flap like that, it, yeah. it warms him up. And you see the tongue coming out? Down. All of that reducing heat. Yep. All the, that. The blood as it travels through there. Wow. Off. It's such an impressive creature, uh, these owls. Now, you have several different types of birds. Talk about some of the others that you have. Yeah, when we come to a bird show, we usually will bring Bubo or Pumpkin, uh, one of our eagle owls, but we also have hawks, falcons, a couple of crows, uh, and I mentioned the barn owl. Uh, so we br we'll bring three or four different birds and uh, give people an idea of 
let to not just teach them about them, but give them an opportunity to, to meet them and see them up close, just like we're doing here. Now today. you mentioned the crows. Uh, people often don't understand how brilliant those birds are. Uh, the crow, and also, of course, even maybe smarter, the magpie, brilliant birds. Yeah. These things can imitate anything. <laughs> Yep. You think a lot of birds can talk. You really don't know anything until you look at some, what some of the yeah. crows and some of these other birds can do. It is impressive. Absolutely, yeah. Talk yeah, about very that. Very intelligent. Yeah. Um, their brains are a little bit larger than other birds. Sorry, Bubo, but uh, the crows are, are probably smartest of all and, and rank up there with other animals too. Um, and so, yeah, they're very smart, and we will have we have kind of an activity or a fun little thing that our crows get to exhibit their intelligence during our bird shows that we do. Now you, uh, you have an event coming up uh, as we transition here, because I, I want to take a, an opportunity to, <laughs> to get to do this. This yep, is pretty absolutely, great yep. to be, a, key, to be a, a keeper for a moment, so to speak. Yeah, so I'm going to probably get up and move over there. Okay. So you just kind of sit back where still. you were. Okay. Um, yeah, we love to give people a chance to meet the birds up close. And we'll be around different events all summer. But our next kind of big event we're getting ready for up here in the uh, Summit Wasatch County area is the um, uh, just hold your arm nice and steady okay. there. Very good. Ooh. Decided he wants uh -huh. to go up a little bit higher on your noise. Uh, thing. That's so okay. let me just reset mind. him a little bit lower on your. He goes for the higher perch. So yeah, okay. just so go a little higher. Jack knife your arm okay. a little more. Um, will be the sheepdog classic. Keep your thumb in. Okay, thumb in. And then I'll just hold his leash. Very good. There you go, Joe, you're awesome. a professional. Wow. You got a new job at Earthwings. This is great. So yeah, the Sheepdog Classic, uh, Labor Day weekend <laughs> over at, at Soldier Hollow will be there. And check, check our website, our Facebook for other events th throughout the summer. And if you've got a special event, we'd love to be there with our birds. Yeah, absolutely. Where can we get inf more, more information? I know earthwings.org is the website. Earthwings.org, uh, Facebook, Earthwings on Facebook. Wow. And uh, yeah, sure feel beautiful. free to reach wow. out we'd love to hear from you bubo thank you so very much for being here i gotta thank you so very much for bringing her uh bringing him he's a beautiful bird and of course uh pumpkin's waiting at home so <laughs> probably got to get him back right yeah pretty soon he's <laughs> wondering where his girlfriend is eric and McGill, thank you, Joe. it's earth wings it. we're going to be back with more here on the mountain morning show we're going to be checking out your calendar of events that are happening this week in the mountains and more and uh, guests, or more guests arrive here in just a couple moments. So we'll be back right here on the Mountain Morning Show right after this.